Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of News in 2 Minutes, bringing you the news that you need to know every day. Let's begin. Following an attack by militant gunmen on the Westgate shopping mall in Kenya that left 67 people dead during a four-day siege, American, British, and Turkish special operations teams reportedly attacked an Al-Shabaab stronghold in Somalia on Sunday before being repelled by the group under heavy gunfire. The Indian Army is reporting multiple and sometimes ongoing gun battles between Indian servicemen and what are being reported as Pakistani militants near the border of Jammu and Kashmir. A lieutenant general with the military has warned that Pakistan military personnel may be among the border infiltrators, where up to 40 Pakistan-trained rebels have been fighting fierce battles near the disputed line of control. The renewed fighting comes just days after the Indian Prime Minister issued a strong warning to Pakistan saying that continued militant training and the allowance of what he called the epicenter of terror could result in an official cancellation of the only ceasefire agreement that is keeping the well-armed countries from declaring war. In health news, two people in Hong Kong are confirmed to have Legionnaire's disease. Health officials in India are desperately working to curtail a rampant increase in antibiotic-resistant forms of bacteria. Cases of measles are increasing within youth in South Sudan. 75 new cases of encephalitis have been confirmed in India in the last two days. And media outlets in Saudi Arabia are becoming hesitant to post new cases of the Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. Heavily armed gunmen killed at least 12 Libyan soldiers in an attack at an army checkpoint near the city that was thought to be a former stronghold of supporters of Muammar Gaddafi. The country continues to face an uprising of armed militants following the supposed liberation from tyranny, with many gunmen targeting military officers, judges, and security agents in what has become a month-long wave of consistent attacks. The Sun experienced a strong far-side CME that resulted in a shockwave of energy traveling at 1.6 million miles per hour away from Earth, with researchers expecting that the active region will face Earth within 5-7 to seven days and may present an increase to Earth-facing solar activity. And to wrap things up, countries in Asia are continuing to store a large amount of grain on fears that a continued global decline could leave their citizens hungry. Announcements of legal back pay for time lost and the return to work of over 400,000 defense contractors show analysts the veiled deception of a government shutdown. The Tunisian government is agreeing to a shift in power to halt ongoing protests that are determined to remove the Islamist authority within the country. And a 5.3 in Romania as well as a 5.0 in Alaska and New Zealand complete today's Quake Watch. And that's it for this episode of News in 2 Minutes. Check back tomorrow for more news that the aware need the most. This week's News in 2 Minutes is brought to you by shtfplan.com where even the officials go for news, and sqmetals.com for all your precious metal needs.